I have never played hardcore Minecraft before and it's almost 2024. So let's change that today. This series is gonna last a long time, at least hopefully. I have lots of things planned for this world. So grab some snacks, stay hydrated and enjoy these first 150 days. Let's just get over with the basics. I mean, every start is pretty much the same and I'm sure you've seen or experienced it yourself plenty of times. I'm gonna hold on to this pickaxe though. And here's the holy item making us invincible. Yeah, maybe not. Now let's find a place for our starter base. Oh, perfect. There is the new cherry biome. I've never messed with the new 1.20 stuff. Yeah, I'm a little late to the party. I think this mountain seems perfect for a starter base. We got a village just over there, some ice and snow, and we get to settle in the new cherry grove biome. I'll probably build a farm and a little pond as well. It's gonna look amazing. Anyways, let's start by building the base. Oh right, I don't have any blocks for this. During all of this I found the rarest ore in the game, so I saved the coordinates to go back later and collect it with silk touch. I had my first near death experience. Later I struggled to get some blaze rods but eventually I got there. I also found two more diamonds and made an enchanter, I kidnapped some sheep, found some more diamonds and sniped this guy out of existence. Then I finished the enchanting setup and got Feather Falling 4 on a book and Fortune 3 for the pickaxe. Why hello there. Alright, time to get mending. Since there have been some changes to librarians, we need swamp villagers now, trade with them until they're at the max level and even then there's only a 50% chance of getting a mending trade. So let's start by getting two villagers over to that swamp. I just spent an hour doing this for absolutely nothing. If you don't know what's going on, basically this guy wasn't supposed to get this trait, but after some research, I found out these changes were only made in the 1.20.2, but since I'm playing on version 1.20.1, this is not the case for me. So let's bring these villagers to the base. And here's our mending trade. Apply to the pickaxes and now we can repair them. Let's do that in the nether while also getting some ancient debris. Isn't there something soothing about mining for ancient debris? 12 seconds later. Yeah, maybe not. Moving on, I have everything to build our first base in this world. So let's just get to building.
and here's the base so let me give you a house tour just ignore this part here anyways upon entering our lovely home we are greeted with this in this corner is the enchanting setup passing through here is a little storage and over here's the mine where we get all the ores we'll ever need this shower looking thing is just an infinite water source this is supposed to be a cat tree for our non yet existent pets but i'll have three cats here by the next episode just over here is a small nether wart farm and a reading corner upstairs is our cozy ikea bed a small smelter and our storage and finally a sugarcane farm and other workstations i use on a regular basis well that's it for the base but not for this video we still have lots more to do like getting an elytra it makes resource gathering and just traveling in general so much faster so let's gear up for this trip I think I have everything needed for the journey, so let's make our way towards the stronghold. Well, that was easy enough. We should also get the eye armor trim in here. Uh, there we go. Now comes the scary part, fighting the dragon. Since we're in hardcore, dying would mean I'd have to start over, and I definitely don't want to do that. So let's carefully defeat the dragon. <laughs> Whee! Easy! Yeah, this fight gets easier every time. Okay, now I just gotta increase my render distance to the max and walk around looking for an end city. Oh my god, yes! There's an end city! Please let there be a ship as well. Let's hope I don't miss. That was definitely plot armor. Alright, let's continue our search for the wings. And now we can fly around the world. After a whole bunch of enchanting our armor and the elytra, let's place down the dragon egg and frame our very first pickaxe. Okay, this is all cool and well, but this is what it looks like when I leave the base. Yeah, let's clean up the area and add some decorations. But first, we need resources. Slowly but surely the enchantments on their gear are coming along as well. And now let's get to building. Okay, this already looks so much better than before. For villagers, just throw an item in here and bam! Well, we first need to wait for these guys to, you know, do the deed. And now, let's transport the villagers into their lovely new home. Three hours later. Yeah, okay, might be more like a prison, but man, come on, they deserve it. Now we can focus our attention to our gear. With the help of these villagers, I managed to get all the enchantments for my gear. And now, let's upgrade to netherite. <laughs> And finally, Mojang added a new way to customize our armor using armor trims. For some reason, I want exactly the three rarest ones for my armor. So let's go look for them. The first one I want is the Rip Armor Trim, with a 6.7% chance of spawning in a fortress. I have already looted the entirety of this fortress earlier, so I'll have to find another one. Okay, that wasn't so hard. But remember, the other trims are not only the rarest, but also they're only found in ancient cities. This means I'll have to face the Warden if I'm not careful. Yeah, let's just be more cautious from now on. 12 seconds later. Oh no, that was not the plan. Anyways, after a while, I got more comfortable with just quickly looting the chests and flying away. 
And here's the first of the two trims found in the ancient cities. This one has a 5% chance of spawning in chests, while the last one, the Silence Armor trim, only has a 1.2% chance, making it the rarest trim in the game. So let's just loot the rest of this city and surely we'll have found it by then. Well, guess I gotta find another city. Surely this time we're lucky enough to find it. Uh, is this the chosen city? Nope. Is this trim even in the game yet? I mean, I know it's the rarest one, but come on, man. This is the sixth ancient city. All right, eighth city, here I come. Bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Oh! Oh my god, let's go! This took so much longer than expected. Even though I was using chunk base to locate these cities more easily, it still took me over two hours to find the trim. Now I can finally head back home and craft the duplicates. Obviously, I want to keep at least one of each trim at all times, so we can craft more in the future if we need to. And here's the reveal. Let me know what's your favorite armor trim down in the comments below. Eventually, I want to have all the armor trims, but that's a video for another time. We have successfully survived 150 days in hardcore Minecraft. And this is what it looked like in the beginning. And now we have a base with all the essentials, a beautiful area surrounding it. We built a trading hall and even got a fully enchanted and customized netherite armor. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of my hardcore series. Merry Christmas to everyone. And I hope to see you in the next episode as well. Thank you so much for watching.